Hello, my friends. Welcome to Metro TV. I'm Andy Hoig, publisher of Midlands Business Journal and Metro Magazine. This is our 300th episode, and I'm so excited that you're joining us. We'll be talking to the 50 Mile March Foundation. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Well, hello, my friends. I am so excited to be here with um, not just two people. We've got six people today that we're going to be talking to. Uh, but we're going to be talking about the 50 Mile March and the 50 Mile March Foundation. I'm here with good friend Jay Morales. He is the co-founder and board member. And Bree Schuler, the executive director, kind of newly appointed within the last six months. Six months. Yes. So. You guys, thanks so much for joining me today. Thanks We're for excited. Having us. We're so excited to be here, Andy. Yeah, I'm excited too. Um, let's just talk. So, Jay, I'm going to ask you this question. Yes. Uh, we've talked about this many times. Um, the 50 Mile March. What inspired this? I mean, this is huge. What inspired? Uh, you know, uh, when I got out of the military in '98, I had a hard transition myself. Um, yeah. I know what it's like to have no address for 10 months. I know what yeah. it's like to want to exit the earth, you know, two yep. times I can remember specifically. And um, I promised, made a promise to God and said, hey, if I ever got back on my feet, I would help people. And for years and years, Andy, I was just talk. It was just talk. And finally in COVID, um, I said, we're going to do this. Wow. Okay. And 30 people said, oh, yeah, I'll go with you. And six people showed up and we walked from Lincoln to Omaha. That was the start. And it wasn't even going to be a thing. It was just a one time thing. That's all it was going to be. And who were the, I mean, you don't have to name names, but the six people, I mean, is there, and you're just walking. I mean, it's, it, this has become much bigger than yes. the six people. Yes. And are you just walking like in the dark? So yes, straight 22 hours. We start at the Capitol. We land at Nebraska Brewing Company. We walk along Highway 6. So open traffic, open highway. Uh, there's no sidewalks, uh, escorted vehicles. Like it's a whole production. It's a whole production. Yeah. But yes, it is 22 hours of a, the worst 120,000 steps you've right. ever taken. But when you, but the six of you that started that, did you have escorts? So when we first started, we yeah. had one truck okay. and maybe another RV, but we didn't know just what we were doing. Kind of behind you, just yes. Yeah. And we didn't know where we were going to stop. We just stopped when we got tired. Oh we got kicked out of a couple parking lots. Uh, we had the cops called on us five times. Uh, we were like, this is never going to happen again. Oh and it gosh. was, it was downright like crazy. It was chaos. And we were exhausted because we didn't know what we were doing. Uh, were you raising funds at that time? Yes. Okay. So Andy, what's funny is I said, oh, I told my wife, we're going to raise $2,500. And she goes, you know, if you don't raise $2,500, you better make good and write a check. I said, oh gosh, I was scared about 2,500. We raised $25,000 in 24 hours. In that first year? In the first, in the night. The night, okay, the it night? It was crazy at night. <laughs> Were you like posting on social Facebook, media? Facebook, yes. Yeah. Okay. And, and a couple of our, you know, a couple of good business friends and a couple of good sponsors, you know, they, they just donated and, and the world was watching and you just, yeah. I had no idea. The yeah. money kept coming in to give butter and we were thought, wait a minute, is this right? Maybe this is a mistake. But anyway, it was, it surprised us. But that was it. That was all it was ever going to be. Right. And the thing, I mean, I, I love understanding the beginnings of yes. something because yes. I feel like so important and it's also so inspiring because we are definitely going to be talking about perspective what, what's going on <laughs> yes, now yes and um the people involved and and whatnot but yeah back then so so what made you do it the second year so i think it was like two weeks later and someone called me and said are you okay i said oh you know I'm, my feet hurt uh my I'm, I'm in a crutch because my right knee was inflamed are we gonna do this again i said do what again <laughs> This is, that was it, like, no. And someone said, I think we should do it again. And then, you know, FOMO and everyone getting together. Yes, and then we decided to, and 39 people walked that second year. The second year, so you went from six to 39. Yes. Kind of same deal with maybe a truck. I mean, Yes, a couple there... trucks, yeah. uh, two more RVs, still trying to figure it out and still more chaos, but safety was number one with yeah. 39 yeah. people. And that's when we kind of said, hmm, this might be a thing. And then we became a nonprofit in our second year. Okay. Because we had no idea 
That year we raised a hundred forty one hundred forty one thousand. Okay, wow. With a fifty thousand dollar goal. That is huge. I, I just don't. Yeah, that's yeah. huge. Thank um, you. From twenty five thousand, hoping to God that you get twenty five hundred. Yes. And then the next year, okay, oh well, let's double it. We'll do fifty, and you did a hundred and forty one thousand dollars in that yes. second year. Yeah, absolutely. And again, I just pinch myself because the vision is so clear, and and Bree will explain that later, but. I didn't have a vision, Andy. I just had a wanting to. You just help. wanted it, yeah. Yeah, and we were giving them to organ. We were giving the money, 100% of the funds to the organizations that we supported for the first two years. Yeah. There was no long-term vision. It was just yeah. help where we can, be good stewards, and 100% of that money went to those organizations. And so, how did you choose the organizations? Um, so, vetting organizations. There's there's a lot of overlap in our community and just in the world in general. I, I wanted scrappy agile local people here that had proven results moving veterans forward uh guitars for vets yeah i mean when you work with a subset of people and they work with them every day it wasn't hard to give to them at right all, at all they needed it and we wanted to give it to them and the work they've done since has been incredible that's amazing that's so great all right so the third year just we'll, we'll just touch it yes. briefly yes third year how many people uh, 58, okay. 58 people, and that was $231,000, okay. somewhere around there. Fourth year? Yeah. Fourth year. Last year was uh, 87, 87 515,000. Okay. I mean, but the vision is clear now. Yeah. Very clear. Yes. Um, and I've gone to several events that you guys have had. I was hoping, hoping to walk this year, but I will be walking next year um, i will i will join you yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah i know i know we were talking yeah, hey, listen um, this is accountability I love it. because but this is a commitment yes um yes you we started back in january and when you first started in you know you had like your first i think mission gathering mission. Yes, yeah. yes ma'am mm -hmm. um and well let's just talk about this here um yeah well how are you feeling i mean what's going on you know, um, so I, I talk to people and they say, oh, I, I would love to walk with you. People don't realize that it's about a 150 to 200 hour commitment mm -hmm. from the day you say yes. Yeah. And but it's self-improvement. It's no one ever got hurt by walking and mm -hmm. having a routine and having self-care and looking forward to something and getting out of bed and meeting good people and building a community, making new friends. Like that's how I'm feeling right now. And if you ask me how I'm feeling right now, I've got I've got uh, goosebumps. Yeah. We're building a community without walls first. Right. These are people coming together, all walks of life. And we're not red and, or we're not blue. We're red, white, and blue. And yes. That's what I love about us. But yes. I think it's no longer an organization. It's a movement. Yes. It, to, the yeah. 50 Mile March is a movement. Yes. Yeah. The event itself might be a fundraising endeavor to support our programs, but ultimately it's a community. I yes. Mean, people come together and make lifelong friends and they're battling their demons together and they're they're really feeling part of small yes. thing that's bigger than you. Well, yeah. and you stepped into this executive director role, like, you know, just in the last- Happy six, little accident. In the last six months. Yes. What, why? Um, you know, it's interesting. I've had a lot of folks ask me can, my personal why. I'm not a veteran. Um, my grandfathers both served, but those were stories we never really heard growing up. Um, I think it's because veterans matter. And I've worked in the nonprofit sector most of my career. Um, it's very easy to attach yourself to a cause that's pretty. Um, I think it is a lot more challenging to attach yourself to a cause of somebody who is down on their luck yeah. or somebody that you, you really have a hard time wrapping your arms around helping. Yeah. And to me, veterans have given so much of themselves for us and to be able to actually physically do something tangible to support those folks and emotionally support those folks, um, I don't think there's a better cause out there. So I was very excited to come um, join this organization. So I joined as a, a board member last right. year and ultimately some folks convinced me to quit my job uh, yeah. to, to come do this full time and I could not be happier. Yeah. Um, you know, we've had a conversation before, um, Bree, and I just know that that you're just that your passion about yes. this organization and the cause. And we're going to talk um, in a little bit more about the the cause and all that good stuff because 
Uh, we're also going to be talking to a couple sponsors yes. um, for the event and also, yeah. or for the march. It's, yes. I mean, it, it's march. an event. It's, it's an event. It's, yeah. a, it's yeah. a movement. Yeah. It's yeah. everything. I mean, it, it's a, it's, I'll just, I'm going to carry on with that. It is a movement and the training and everything that goes into it, the people, the commitment, whether you're a participant, because we'll be talking to a couple participants yes. as well yes. and hearing their stories. Yes. Um, it's huge. And this is so much more than the march that's yes. that's truly that's on um, august 24th, 24th and 25th yeah because yep. yep. yes. you start that night and then you walk yes. yeah you walk into the next hours. day yeah uh, and it's just pretty spectacular so well and by the numbers so this year right now we have 161 marchers that Approved. will be joining us this year wow so that is a considerably larger number than the 87 from yes. last year and if we we continue the exponential growth i mean I, I said, I'm going to put it out to the universe. My goal is that they have to shut down Highway 6 because we become that big and that loud. All right. I'm putting that out there, too. So, yeah, <laughs> yep, yep. I love it. The yeah. governor's watching this. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All right, folks, don't go away. We will be right back. Well, welcome back. I am here with Todd Kozaliski. Um, Todd is a participant in this whole amazing 50 mile march and- First year. First, first year, okay. First year, yeah. Wow. Uh, so. Well, let's talk about that for a second. So basically what happened was, uh, uh, is through a friend of a friend. So yeah. a gal by the name of Jody Foster did it last year. She's participated as a volunteer and then um, she partic uh, as a volunteer two years ago and then a marcher last year. Okay. We have a mutual friend. And so it was that mutual friend named Tammy Griffiths who came to me um, sometime last year and had just said, hey, what are your thoughts on this? And Tammy and I have a background. We, we, we've been friends for years. We've done a lot of races together. Okay. Um, and then so I just thought, you know, when I first got into this, I was really thinking of it as just like a physical challenge. I'm, I'm like, because I knew sure. nothing about the 50 mile march. And so I'm like, yeah, sure. You know, let's do that. You know, not really knowing what I was getting into. Yeah. Uh, but now as time has gone on and you learn more about the organization, it's, it's, you know, when it comes to the choices I've made, when it comes to trying to be involved in organizations, this is one of the best ones I've ever made. Yeah. There's no doubt. So, so she approached you and said, yep. hey, what do you think about this? And did you just, so again, you said yes, just because, oh, this sounds like a physically challenging. Yeah. I mean, there's a few things that sold me. One is she said it supports veterans. Well, yeah. my dad was a veteran. He was a Korean War veteran. His brother was a veteran. Uh, their dad was a veteran. So I've always supported veterans, but but nothing to this extent. You right. know what I mean? I mean, I've always supported them, but then to be involved in an organization that supports them, yeah. I've never been involved in that. Yeah. And so, you know, when, when Tammy had told me that and it, there's these two components to it. There's a physical side, but also the, the, the side of supporting veterans. I was sold. I mean, right, I, right. I didn't have to be really told anything yeah. else. I'm like, yeah, let's do it. You yeah. know. So you're a police officer or you were a police officer? Yeah, or? so I, I retired from the Omaha Police Department after 25 years in October. I, I did law enforcement for about 29 years. Okay. And does that play into this or? Uh, or? I, I mean, a little bit, yeah. You know, I was, I was talking to my wife this morning about some of this because I had worked some cases in the past. I, I spent a good majority of my career in the Criminal Investigation Bureau, and, and a lot of that was either in the homicide unit or the gang unit. And so the thing is, especially in the homicide unit, we had worked some death investigation cases that, that related to stuff like this, yeah. you know what I mean? And, and so, you know, I have thought about that in the past, and I think about it a lot more than I ever thought, because a lot of those cases run into each other when you do it sure. so many years. Yeah. So the thing is, I look back on it now, and yeah, some of it has to do yeah. with it, but I, I think it's, now what's what's really got me going is is the building of the friendships and, and the yeah. camaraderie. It's yeah. just unbelievable. I, I, I never imagine it being like it is now. You know, I mean these are friendships that I think are gonna last for a long time and, and the connections that you're making with these people and we all have this common uh, goal is yes. to help the veterans. Yeah. So. I mean I've been to a couple of the meetings um, with the participants getting together. And you truly, um, I mean, you have to be physically fit. Yeah. Um, yeah. So as you are looking at that journey, and first of all, you look like you're physically fit, that you were already physically fit, but what has this made you do different? Or how did you, how are you preparing for this? 
So, um, you know, I, I, it's a lot different than, than running, I can tell you. Yes. I mean, and, and again, when I say running, for me, it's jogging. I mean, I was never a, right. a true runner. The, the races that we went to was never for competition. We just had fun. Right. But we did a lot of different races, half marathons. I actually did one marathon. Tammy's done several. Uh, we did a lot of obstacle course races and stuff like mm -hmm. that. I received an injury fairly significant uh, back in 2016 where I was out of it for a while. So I had to get back into it again after about five years of that being out of it. And so we started getting back into racing again. And the interesting thing is we had this conversation last week and it's like, we don't miss the running anymore. So how I've prepared is I've obviously tapped into, you know, Jay Morales, yes. you know, trying to learn, you know, and then also other walkers and just asking them, what have you done to prepare, you know? And uh, so I put in about, you know, I just passed 600 miles uh, this year when it comes yeah. to walking. And so, but it's just so much different. I mean, it, right. it, it, it's, I, I, the wear and tear on your body is a lot different than I thought. It, it gave me a new respect for walking. Right. There was no doubt about that. And rucking, I guess, is what really right. what it is. Yeah. I've actually done a lot of research on rucking. Yeah. All right, we got have a, less than a minute left. Yeah. I want to talk about the mental. Um, for, I don't know if you can, yeah. if you never, if you haven't done it, what, how you, now, well, and I, and I haven't done, I, I think the only way I can equate it when it comes to the mental, I think, I, I hope I'm okay. I don't want to get too overconfident that they're saying, oh, no problem. I'll be fine and stuff like that. But you know, in the job, in the jobs that we were in before, sure. especially being in the homicide unit, yeah. you put in long hours. I mean, when you worked cases like that, you were at work for 24 to 30 hours at a time right. and awake all the time. And sometimes you're yeah. up 40 hours at a time, you know? Uh, so I, I think mentally, and of course that's a lot different, uh, situation than, than here, but I'm hoping that I can mentally get sure, through it. And, sure. and, I, and I think obviously with the people around you, you have 150 people or 160 people yeah. participating in this. You're all feeling the same way at yep. that point. So. Yeah. Well, I'm going to look, I, I want to talk to you after this is over, after sure. you've done this, I would love to have a conversation with you. Absolutely. Yeah. So. Um, so Todd, thank you so much for, for sharing and, and um, it's nice to meet you. And, yeah, nice to meet you too. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited to hear how, how everything goes. I know yeah. it'll be great. Thanks so, so much. Yeah, you're welcome. And folks, don't go away. We will be right back. Well, welcome back. I'm excited to be here with Greg Ham, uh, Tom Simmons, both uh, work for companies that are sponsoring this event. Uh, so I want to start with you, Greg. So you're with Warner Enterprises, and why have you chosen to partner with the 50 Mile March? Yeah, so uh, the thing about Warner Enterprises, one in every five employees at Warner is a, is a veteran. And so veteran initiatives for Warner are very important. And it was very easy for us to get behind the 50 mile march. When you talk about the impact in your own community yeah. that you can have where you can say, I'm gonna attack homeless, homelessness for veterans. Um, I have the opportunity to maybe provide job skills, job opportunities. So it was very easy for us to say, hey, this is something that it meets our, uh, from a corporate standpoint, yeah. it meets our values. And so it was very easy for us to say, hey, let's get on board. You know, we've got, we've got eight people walking this year on the team from yeah. Warner. I walked last year, walking again this year, just excited about what the opportunity is to impact our community here in Omaha. Yeah, absolutely. And Tom, you're with Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate, um, the Good Life Group. Uh, so what was your decision? I mean, why did you decide? Well, it's interesting to hear Craig's perspective because uh, he kind of stole my thunder, so to speak. <laughs> it was, he articulated it very well and I think you know, for me, it's kind of a, a dual front. So certainly we have a large uh, military community in our brokerage. Yeah. Um, we have lots of real estate agents uh, that uh, served and, uh, and family members that have served. And we've been fortunate enough to work for a lot of families uh, that are stationed at Offit and otherwise. Yeah. Uh, so so it's, it's kind of entrenched in our community. Um, my father-in-law and my brother-in-law are also both uh, uh, retired military um, and are very passionate about military causes. So uh, it was also easy to support their uh, wishes. And when Jay Morales kind of brought this to us in the early days, it was uh, pretty incredible to see his passion yes. for uh, the importance of serving uh, our veteran community who uh, I think sadly 
uh, can sometimes get forgotten. Yeah. And uh, I know that it's maybe cliche, but I really believe the very freedoms that we experience and, and enjoy every day, from the standpoint of being able to just be free Americans, but also being able to be in our business community and do what we wanna do relative to uh, having those opportunities is so pivotal. Yeah. And, uh, and that wouldn't be the case without those that served and gave us the opportunity. And so I've always said that uh, any opportunity we have to give back in a very small way, uh, comparatively uh, to what uh, the men and women that have served have done for this country. Um, it seems like a small, small, yeah. small uh, gesture. And, and it's really uh, fundamentally powerful to think that, you know, the, there, there are uh, down, you know, downfalls to war and to yeah. serving. Yes. I mean, it's, it, these are realities and um, we need to open our arms and give all the resources that we possibly can uh, to those folks because there's experiences that, that lay people that haven't served will never sure. appreciate and understand. Yeah. And, and maybe that's a little too close to home or, or a little bit, you know, I don't want it, that forbidden fruit, but I think it's important that we acknowledge that yeah, agreed. As, as a community yes. and, and accept responsibility for what is a wonderful, wonderful life that we all get to live. I mean, the, the idea of freedom is, is, you know, I think we take it for granted. Yeah. And it wouldn't happen without the service of our of our veterans. Yes. How long has um, your business been in, involved a sponsor? So we've been blessed to be with Jay from the very beginning okay. and the 50 mile march more okay. specifically yeah. from the very beginning. Um, and yeah, Jay was the impetus and, uh, and an incredible and passionate leader. And then it just grew with his leadership and so many are involved. I mean, sure. the caliber of a company of Werner I mean, just to you know, be in the same conversation right. with those guys is amazing because of the commitment that they've made to this community relative to all the people they've employed and and all the impact that they've had. And and so we've been we've been a very proud participant from the beginning. I, I walked one year. I'm going to tell you, it is no small feat. Yeah. I, I hold yeah. it as a it, it's yeah. pretty true in my heart. I had some issues that didn't allow me to participate again, but it's it's sure. it's a wonderful wonderful opportunity. And I cherish I cherished the time I had because it's a special experience yeah. that people have that yeah. you can allude to. Greg. Well, we've got like 10 seconds left. Sure. So sorry. <laughs> sorry. I, no, you're fine. You're fine. I just want to ask, how long is Warner? How many years? So Warner uh, started sponsorship last year okay. with a group of three walkers last year. Okay. And we have eight walkers this year. Um, Great. Yeah. And so we're excited again this year to be a not only a, a walking sponsor, but a monetary sponsor yeah. as well. All right. Well, thank you, Greg. Thank you, Tom, for joining me today. Um, I just and I hope this all encourages other businesses to look at how they can um, sponsor and participate. So, well, thank, thank you, gentlemen. Thank you for having. Thank you for having us. You were so welcome. Yeah. And folks, don't go away. We'll be right back. Well, as we close, and, and I really want to talk a little bit about um, the organization and who you serve and also how people can get involved. Um, I know you are tapped out with um, participants yes. and walkers. And also, there is this whole thing that you have to be prepared and you have yes. like, well, what do you call it? Qualify. Qualify. You have to qualify. You have to qualify, yes. Yeah, you're, you have ready. to physically be, be ready for this. But yes. let's talk about... Um, Let's talk about who you support again, and also, uh, yeah, what that means to these organizations. Getting involved, time, talent, and treasure, and then I'll pass it to Bree because she, she says it so well. Just because you walk, you're not the most important person in the equation. Hospitality, handing out sandwiches, yes. driving a truck, um, setting chairs at a landing, putting out signs for us. Those are the things that matter. Mm -hmm. Just because we're walking, that's just a piece of it. Yeah. It's the people 30 hours up all night long serving us hot coffee and donuts and high V feeding us. Like it's all that stuff. Yes. So that's how people can get involved there. Time, talent, and treasure. Yeah. 
So wh where are the funds going? Jay alluded to the fact we started as a grant-making entity. We were taking those funds right. and we were giving them away to other nonprofits. But as we've continued to grow, we're poised to raise over a million dollars this year, we knew we could do more. So that's where the Community of Hope vision came from. It started as a beautiful photo of us looking at building a community center and tiny home village for veterans. Um, that's the future. So we are getting ready to embark on a capital campaign in 2025. To, to build it. And yeah. so we envision really living and breathing our mission of serving veterans who are facing homelessness and mental health challenges by wrapping them in that community of support. Yeah. And Bree has set up an alliance to come together so that we're not overlapping, overstepping, mm -hmm. or, or dual coordination with any of our community partners, civic leaders, all the way down to other nonprofits. We cannot overstep. We have to do it together. Yes, together. We're, we're stronger together. And yes. if we look at what we've been great at, it's building community and figuring out how to get everybody together. So we envision a shared community campus that, that encompasses not only our programs, but other veteran serving agencies in the community working alongside yeah. us. So a year from now, thoughts on a year from now? <laughs> well, Manifest. I'm, I'm manifesting yeah. the sho shovels in the ground by the middle of next year. Yes. I, I want to see the right property come our way. So yes. I will put that out to the universe. We're going to have a mobile show that where Andy comes out to us and we're going to film it there on <laughs> the ground. On the ground. Break. Love it. Yes. I'm there. So. And you're going to be one of the shovel holders. Um, I totally do that. I know. I'm, I'm so behind everything that this is because it's huge. And again, we've chatted. We've had conversations. Um, so, you know, we've got a couple minutes left. Let's just, what do you want to, what else do you want to say? I would love to see as many people as possible be there to welcome our marchers oh, yes. and, and, and crew coming in on Sunday, August 25th at 1 p.m. at Nebraska Brewing Company. Okay. There's something so incredibly powerful. Mm -hmm. I remember standing in the back of a pickup truck crying yeah. as the marchers came up that final hill. Yeah. Um, it, it's such a piece of determination and grit and patriotism. It, come out and see us finish yeah. because yes. it's an experience. Um, I actually feel like I have tears coming down. Um, what you both said was powerful. Jay, that was so incredible. Um, and I, I, I want to pull the words out of your mouth again, but I can't. What did you say? When don't say you haven't served. Yeah. Is because you all have in your own way. Some yeah. of us just put a uniform, so some people didn't have to. Yeah. Right? It's a volunteer force. And yes. Andy, it brings me to tears to know that um, there are people who sleep under the Bob Carey. There are people who sleep in yeah. our city who are surf, uh, couch surfing. I, I slept in a car. I, these are the people that we are serving. So when it gets hard for us, we have to remember who we're, yes. you know, who, who we're serving. And the word serve is, I hate the word help. I want to serve people. Yeah, yeah, agreed, yeah. Uh, agreed. Okay, so people can, where can people find out more information about all of this? 50milemarch.org. Easy. Everything's on there. And you can find us on Facebook. It's almost like we open our socials and you see a movement of people. Andy, every time I see someone walking on the road, wherever I am in the city, I look for the little patch. I'm like, oh, that's one of us. Yeah. Before, and, and people are recognizing shirts now. And yes. it's so crazy at, at what people have been brought together to heal. Yes. And and what you carry is heavy. And when you can say, hey, me too, or hey, I understand you, or hey, I'm here to guide yeah. you, that's powerful. I am so grateful for you both. Thank you. I am going to start crying. Don't. I'm, <laughs> try I'm trying not to. Um, I just want to thank you both. So grateful. This is a powerful, powerful message. What you're doing, I just, I can't wait. I just, I mean, I can feel it, just what it's going to do in the years to come. Um, but here we are, 2024, uh, August 24th, 25th. People can cheer, welcome oh, everybody yes. on yes. the 25th. Yes. 1 p.m., Nebraska Brewing. Uh, get involved and just follow Facebook, um, yes. social Instagram, media. Instagram, LinkedIn, yeah. Yeah. we're there. Yeah. And all that stuff. Whatever so. it is, MySpace. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but, but Andy, I, I do want to say thank you because yeah. not only you're a good friend, you're, you've been uh, just you brought this community together I remember uh, we won't go into that but my whole thing is Andy you've been so supportive and gracious with your time and all your resources you're part of the movement well thank you and that's how I surf so I'm I, I'm honored honored to do so and you're great at it. and I look forward to walking yeah. with you next year yes yes yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. yes. All yeah. right. thank you thank you both and again folks check them out follow on social media 
look at the website and um, let's just do this together. Yeah. That's important. So thanks again. Thank you. And thank you.